Welcome to the roast of Ron Ludwig. Just playing. For those that don't know me, you might be at the wrong wedding. But my name's Dave. I say that because I think my entire family was invited tonight. <laughs> you see, years ago, Ron basically nestled his way into my family. And of course, they took him in with open arms. Or as the band Creed would say, with arms wide open. So he's pretty much my cousin, or better yet, the brother that I never had. We first met around 16 years ago. We both had a group of friends that we skateboarded with, a lot of them here tonight, until one day we recruited him into ours. His very first text to me was, Dave, I heard you were Jesus on a skateboard. And I was like, who is this? And he said something like, some say I'm God. Others call me handsome, but most just call me Ron. So clearly right away, we became best friends. Just like on the movie Step Brothers, except we didn't do karate in the garage. We skateboarded in there. Growing up, it seemed like Ron and I always got into some shit, just what we did. Around the age of 14, give or take, we got our first taste of alcohol. And we used to sneak shots of my pap's liquor from his bar downstairs. Then we would fill him back up with water. <clears throat> Even the whiskey which is really dumb thinking back back on it now. Just a couple bottles of clear Jack Daniels sitting there. And then we would always end up filming each other. It's not gay. We just always like to make funny videos. But I'm sure I could go on all night with inappropriate stories, but instead I thought I'd tell you guys a few things about Ron that you might not know. So number one, Ron recently took a 23andMe test, and it turns out that he has 1.5% African DNA. <laughs> number two, uh, a couple years back, Ron shaved a patch of his leg hair off. I don't, I'm not sure why, but it like never grew back yet. <laughs> and number three, if you tell Ron his eyes are red, they'll start watering uncontrollably and there's nothing he can do about it. He hates it. So when you talk to him tonight, and it looks like he just got done smoking a bunch of weed or, you know, crying or whatever. Just know that those could be happy tears or, you know, I've been telling him his eyes were red all day. But on a more serious note, when Ron and Brittany first met, I never thought it would, be, it would end up like this. But after they started dating, I realized just how deeply he felt about her. Because he wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> he never talked about anyone the way he talks about Brittany. The little things he says when she's not around, and the little notes he writes her before he goes to work, and the random flowers he gets her for no reason at all. He's always been a really great friend to me and I know he'll be a great husband to her. As much of a sweet and down-to-earth person Brittany is, she keeps him in check, 
and I truly think he's, she's the best thing that's ever happened to him. And I have personal experience hanging out with some of Brittany's family. And I have to say, they're a lot of fun. And Ron loves fun. <laughs> but no, they're really good people, and he's super lucky and grateful to have such cool in-laws. And it wouldn't be fair not to tell you at least one thing about Brittany, too, right? So here's what I know. <laughs> Brittany is a certified licensed crystal rock healing practitioner, expert, professional. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure what that means is if she heals you, you no longer get hung over. So definitely hit her up if you're interested. But before I finish, I just want to say Ron has always been the glue that holds everyone together. And if it wasn't for him, I don't think we would all be as close as we are. From the events and the parties that he hosts to just always trying to get everyone together, that's something I think we all appreciate as we get older and busier. So basically what I'm saying is everybody needs a Ron in their friend group. So to wrap this up, if everyone would raise a glass, I'd like to make a toast. To the N-word that Ron can finally say. Newlyweds. Cheers to the newlyweds. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big round of applause out there for the best man, Dave, ladies and gentlemen.